back. It's, I've missed you. <laughs> it's been like, what, a year? It's been uh, a few months. It's been a long, hard year for me, though, Mo. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. You look good. Likewise. You look great. You look happy. You look fit. I, I, all those things are true except the fit part. Oh, okay. Well. Um, we have a lot to talk about. Obviously, there's the fake football game on, on Thursday. Yep. We have to dissect a pretend football game. I'd rather talk about Hard Knocks. Yeah, Did you watch too. Hard Knocks? Loved Hard Knocks. Love it every year. I thought I, I, a couple of things stood out for me. Um, I'm going to start negative. And it's not really a negative. Pac-Man Jones running out of gas. Pac-Man Jones running out of gas is, is, <laughs> is on the list. Um, I, I think you could tell watching the show last night that the producers are struggling for storylines. It was... It I dragged mean, a little bit. They were all over the place with storylines. Like, they're at a party with Marvin at one point, which yeah. really there was no payoff. Well, even like, even like if you think back to four years ago when they show guys in their off-day activities, they basically followed Chad. Yeah. They had some conversations between guys and spouses. Yesterday, we just saw them playing golf. We saw them playing redneck yeah. golf. And we saw them at GameWorks hanging out. Which was boring. It was just, yeah, it was just like, it, it, it bored me. Um, I thought, like, I thought they were trying to force the Marvin Jones thing just a little bit. Trying yeah. to force the Andrew Hawkins, although his story should be told just a little bit. All that said, I had two major impressions. Number one, James Harrison. Dude. Yeah. Uh, what did you think? I love him. Yeah. Uh, for a guy that I hated in Pittsburgh, I love him. We have not had, I mean, a presence. Yeah. Not just a leader, but an absolute presence in the locker room like James Harrison. I can't even remember the last guy we probably had. Yeah. You know, I love the fact that he was flipping off the cameras. But the cool thing from a football's perspective is is the, the, the linebacker's coach, Paul Gunther, who's uh, been there for, for, for years now, sort of like meekly approaches James yeah. Harrison about, hey, we were thinking about maybe in this. And, 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 and he's basically asking him, hey, in the goal line, can we use you in the middle? That's not James' position. And before Gunther can spit it out, Harrison goes, yes, F yes. Like, yells Dude, I, I love the fact that when he's at practice, like, and he, they're asking him, like, hey, man, you know, lay off yeah. the players. He's like, no. He goes, I'm going to let him know I'm there. <laughs> exactly. He goes, i got to do my thing. Don't touch the merchandise. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was good. The other thing that stood out to me is the Bengals might have the two most whipped players in football. Oh, dude. We have Giovanni Bernard driving uh, his mother's, his girlfriend's mom's minivan and carting around a notebook that he writes love notes. With, like, a collage of pictures. Come on, and dude. It. I did that when I was 11, okay? I used to write Mackenzie Melhoff love notes. I was yeah. 11 years old, all right? He was bad. And then Andy Dalton wearing a rubber... Uh, uh, Wedding ring. ring. Now I'm not married anymore, but I lost my wedding ring twice when I was when I was hitched. You uh, you're making guys like me look bad, dude. What do you expect? His wife, his wife is working him out. Yeah. A Pilates instructor True. now. That's how they kick off hard knocks with an intense NFL workout with Andy Dalton and his wife giggling and laughing while he works out on Pilates. The best, I thought, the most poignant moment, obviously, the very end. Larry Black, the kid from Wyoming. Gets that, was, that was heartbreaking. This is why I love Hard Knocks, because if you go to practice that day, you see them working on a guy, you don't see the, the, the raw emotion. Right. And once they cart him off, you forget about him, especially a guy who wasn't drafted. Yeah. He's just another transaction. What I love about this show is it gives players like that a face and a story. That dude... I mean, cried like I did when I was like five or six years yeah. old. You got to remember, like I, I was online on Facebook last night. People were like, suck it up, quit being a baby. Like, really? You got to remember. You ever had your dream crushed because your ankle gets destroyed? This is a guy from you know really? high school on who has busted his tail and he makes it to the NFL and he's doing good things. Yeah, doing yeah. good things with the Bengals and then one freak play. Yeah. One free play takes him out for the season. The way he cried reminded me of how I would behave after Mackenzie Melhoff would not return my love notes. <laughs> now, shifting the focus to Atlanta. The uh, Bengals are there. They've been practicing. They play fake football uh, uh, in uh, the first uh, pretend game of the season. I loathe preseason football. Yeah. Loathe. We I talked mean, about this. With every fiber of my being, at the same time, I guess we have to, there, there are always three things I look for with the first pre or always two things I look for with the first preseason game. Number one is obviously no injuries. Number two, I always hope that the Bengals take the field in in brand new uniforms that they don't surprise us. That they surprise us with. No, they don't tell not us about gonna it happen. Because I hate their uniforms. Not I love happen. the team. I'm a diehard fan. I don't like the uniforms. I want to see two things. I want to see Giovanni. Just see him out on the field. See, yeah. how, see how he gets out there and our secondary. Uh -huh. Because Ryan, I mean, he's going to cut us up, I think, anyway. No. But I just want to see something. Well, yeah, you want to see the new offensive pieces, how they fit. And and I yeah, I want to see Giovanni Bernard, Tyler Eifert, big themes of training camp so far. 
Uh, I want to see how they fit. The game is on ESPN nationally, so we don't get the Bengals television network broadcast, which means we don't get the sideline reporting of Mike Valpredo. Have you uh, ever watched this No, guy? I have not seen he this He is guy. the sideline reporter on Bengals TV, and we won't see him tonight. You'll see him for the uh, other three preseason games, who asks uh, insightful questions of the players during the games like, so you ready for the season? Oh, dude. So we're not Why are we doing this job? That's all, that should be our gig. You or I or yeah. Lindsey Patterson or something Lindsay like Patterson that? Lindsey Patterson will be a phenomenal girl. Lindsey Patterson would be perfect for it. You ready? You, you excited for the year? Do you like playing football? Yeah, do you guys hope to win a lot of games? You I like you make too much this, money. Maybe. Watch this guy. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is it better to play with a helmet? Um, <laughs> I uh, so you know I I I I I hope I'm like a coach and it's I'm not like a coach but I I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like a coach because it's so cliche the, the most important thing for me is that they uh, that they uh, come away from it injury free yeah. I do think though because this is going to be a season of huge expectations and a lot of impatience from my standpoint I really hope they win the the pretend football game because while the results don't matter I think this year if they lose it'll be overreacted to a little bit more and sure. I'll, I don't feel like putting up with that. Putting up with that on Friday. I want to see Andy Dalton that he's got better touch on his passes. Too. Yeah, I want to oh, see sure. that. And this is a perfect opportunity for him to do that. I mean, you're not playing with any consequences. Mm -hmm. You could pretty much well let the ball fly. So let's see what he's got. Great to see you as always. Always, sir. Always. We'll be back next week with a full report.